Hello and welcome back everyone to part 5 of our series on solving integrals using u substitution. First we're going to look at the integral of sine to the 7x cosine of x dx. Now this trigonometric integral is already in terms of sine and cosine so knowing that it's a u substitution we're going to want to look for a function and its derivative. And we know from differential calculus that the derivative of cosine of x is equal to minus sine of x and the derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine of x. So really you could try out either choice and you wouldn't necessarily be wrong but in this case the better choice is to use sine of x because we have a bunch of sines and we have one cosine so it'd be best just to get rid of our one cosine so let's go ahead and clear this section out and make our u equal to sine of x so du is equal to cosine of x dx and dx is du over cosine of x now going back to our original integral we simply have u to the seventh cosine of x times du over cosine of x so this simplifies nicely and we're left with the integral of u to the 7 du which using the reverse product rule we know is simply u to the 8 divided by 8 plus c plugging back our expression in terms of x we simply have sine to the power 8 divided by 8 plus c and that is our final answer alright now moving on to number 2 we're going to look at the integral of x cubed square root of x squared plus 1 dx and like we've seen in other videos we want to try the u substitution as whatever the inner function is first and we also know that it might make sense to use x cubed because the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and then we have an x squared on the inside but because that radical it's not going to simply cancel like when we normally have something in its derivative and we have a product between the two so we're going to start out with u equals to x squared plus 1. Now du is 2x dx and dx is du over 2x. Now going back to our integral we can write this as x cubed square root of u du over 2x. Now let's try to simplify this a little further so we have one x cancel here making this x squared so the integral of we can pull this constant out as well so we've one half the integral of x squared square root of u du now this is the first problem that we've seen that i would call a u manipulation problem so we get some expression that doesn't totally cancel out right away but we have this little relationship that we came up with up here relating u and x so we know that we can actually rewrite x squared because from this equation from our u substitution we can simply rearrange it so that we know x squared is equal to u minus 1 so let's take this value and plug it in for x squared. So we have one half 
the integral u minus 1 root u du. So in order to easily distribute this value in the parentheses, we're going to want to rewrite u so that we have 1 half square root of u minus 1 times u to the 1 half du. Now distributing this, we're going to get 1 half. So u to the 1 times u to the 1 half, we're going to add 2 over 2 plus 1 half. So we're going to get u to the 3 halves minus u to the 1 half du. And then evaluating these is as simple as using the reverse power rule. So we're going to have 1 half. So we're going to add 1 and then divide. So adding 2 over 2 would be 5 halves and then dividing our coefficient in front minus adding 2 over 2 would be 3 halves and then dividing our coefficient out front plus c. Now distributing in our 1 half we'll simplify our answer to 1 fifth u to the 5 halves minus 1 third u to the 3 halves plus c. Now going back to our u substitution we can plug in an expression in terms of x to arrive at 1 fifth x squared plus 1 to the 5 halves power minus 1 third x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves power plus c. And that is our final answer.